Hey, I'm Wenda Knight, and I'm here with another Manifesting Tools video. So, what I have here is called the Psychic Dematerializer, aka the Bad Buster. It's made by Joshua P. Warren. I will put his information um, in the description, so if anybody wants to go to his website and buy this, you can. As of today, May 16th, they may or may not be in stock. How this works is, instead of being positive when you manifest, you could actually be negative. So what this kit comes with is a test tube lined with invisible cloaking material, um, a key of Solomon on a wooden base, there's that, and a raw black tourmaline stone. It also comes with a Hopano uh, dog tag, but I'm not really sure where I put mine, because I never use it. Anyway, um... So what you do is, you would write down something in a negative way. And I've been trying this out the last couple of weeks. I've been just doing really, really simple things to see how it works with manifesting. Like, um, I'm trying this out right now. I just wrote, I'll never find a nickel. Just for the heck of it, I just decided a nickel. And then maybe I'll try a dime or a quarter next. Um, so then you... Take the piece of paper, fold it several times, make it really small, put it inside the tube, put, put this someplace where it's not going to get bumped or touched, so there we go, put it on top of the uh, King of Solomon wooden base, then put the uh, black tourmaline either on top of it or inside of it, it depends. Um, I have a couple of these, and I have some where the raw black tourmaline stone won't fit inside, so I just put it on top, and you could do that as well. It says that in the instructions. So basically how this works is, it's going off of your negative thoughts. So the more negative you are, the more you're actually putting power into your manifestation happening. And again, you have to put it in um, a negative way, like... Uh, some of the examples that Joshua P. Warren has in his instructions are something like my poverty is an example. Um, I've been putting stuff in, you know, like I'll never find a nickel. Or I was trying to find my dogs, um, these, these golden shears that I use to trim my dogs. And I lose them all the time and I end up having to replace them. And I got tired of doing that. So I wrote on a piece of paper that I'll never find my dog's scissors. Well, the next day I found them. And, and I did another one where I was trying to find my dog's toothbrush. And I put I'll never find my dog's toothbrush. And again, the next day I found her toothbrush. Um, and then I have a remote Chio device. I'll use that uh, for another episode to show you what that is. But... I could not find the envelopes for it anywhere. I was going crazy. It was irritating me because I thought, great, I'm going to have to buy them again. So I, I was frustrated and I wrote, you know, I'll never find the envelopes for the remote Chio device. And I put it in, um, in a bad buster. And within a couple of days, I found it randomly when I was just looking. I, I looked everywhere and um, I randomly found it in, in one of the places. Oh. The stone went inside. Uh, I found it in one of the places that um, I didn't even know I put it. So, so yes, this works with um, negative, you know, intentions. Uh, well, your positive intention, but making it negative because we always think negative most of the time anyway. Like, you want a great job, and then you're thinking, oh, I'll never get a great job or whatever. So you could put put it in one of these. So. And that is my episode for tonight. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it helps you in some way. So even being negative, you can manifest.